Hey, what's up everybody? This is Russ with RWGResearch.com. I'm still live. I know I haven't posted a video in a while, but it's because I've been very hard at it and I've been taking care of my family as well. It's been interesting. The little one doesn't sleep through the night just yet and it's very difficult. Sleepwalk every day. Anyway, uh, well, I guess it doesn't change, but beforehand I did the same thing, I guess. <laughs> but this time I don't have a choice. Okay, so here's what I got for you today. Uh, working on the EPG system, working on the uh, hydroxy split ga uh, gas cell from Bill, um, getting parts in that I need to make this stuff work. And um, first, I'm going to show you the pulse sequencer that I've been working on and other people have been helping me with. A um, guy by the name of William actually created uh, some really nice code and he's still working on it, but uh, I'll give you a glance at what it is, what it does, how it works. Uh, just a little demo. It does a lot more than what I'm going to show you but I don't have the necessary time to show you. Um, uh, real quick, I want to say thank you for everyone who has um, helped in any way they possibly can, whether it's donate parts, donate their time, donate their resources. Y'all are wonderful. Keep it coming, um, because uh, i got lots of things ahead. Some really cool stuff's going to happen here soon, but uh, we'll get to that in the next video. I, posted a, I tried to make a video of a, a lecture and my camera went crazy and things didn't work out. So I gotta redo that video and I'll probably do that after I do this. But uh, I wanna give you an update. So here you go. Alright, this is what I have set up for the pulse sequencer. Um, might be kind of hard to see, but you can see what's going on here. This is the Arduino uh, and uh, a breadboard, which I've got everything mounted on the top of this plexiglass plate. Um, because I want it to be versatile um, and then on the inside of this plate what I'm going to do is mount all my electronics this is actually going to be a testing unit for anything and everything I want it to do and be um, basically all my my sequence firing will be able to be programmed and I dump it on the Arduino and let it rip I've got um, frequency adjustment duty cycle adjustment and these two buttons do all sorts of different functions um, for instance, you can see that the lights are pulsing. Five of them, there are six LED outputs. Five of them are pulsing right now. So I'm going to, let me see, let me get everything in here. How's that? Alright, so these push buttons act as functions. So if I hold the red one for a second, I'm in the menu options. Now I can go in here and let's just say I want to change how many outputs I have. Okay, so I can pulse just one, two, three, four, five, or six. Now I'm going to leave it on six for the next section. Um, okay, so I go back into the menu. I'm not showing you the push button there. And I'm going to go to, uh, I can change the duty cycle, the pulse trigger, how I trigger it, and the pulse modes I'm going to do right now. So pulse mode one is all of them flashing. Pulse mode 2 is left to right, pulse mode 3 is right to left, or may I have that backwards, and pulse 4 is sequencing like this. Okay, so you can see I'm bouncing down too, that's pretty neat. And you can do, um, obviously there's more modes that we can add, or uh, William can add, I should say. Um, this stuff, by the way, is all over at uh, the, uh, the forums, it's all open source. Um, William has donated his time and effort for the open sourcing this project. Um, by the time it's all said and done, this will, actually, this will actually have a GUI interface from a PC, hopefully. That's the end result. Um, so you can, you, can, you can do everything you want here on the computer. But, uh, or you can do it standalone. You can use the functions with the button as well. So let's go back into the menu. Um, let's see all the options you can do here. These are just partial options. The, most of the options aren't even on here yet. Um, but if you go to the very end, it says save, and it will actually save it. Okay. So when I hit the reset here, you can see what happens. Nice little demo there in the beginning. Okay, and it saved my settings. Now, earlier it was on 5, and now it's on 6, running the other way. Okay, so it's, it's really neat, um, and I'll be using this for everything. Coil testing, um, the EPG testing. I can even use it to run the hydroxy cells. All sorts of different stuff. Uh, what I plan on doing, like I said, is adding all my electronics in the bottom here. So basically, 
Uh, well, one more thing real quick. Right now it's being internally triggered. So here I have this um, options. I have all these options I can do that he uh, William has programmed in here. So right now if I type in, type in uh, pulse mode and then let's say we want to do pulse mode uh, 4. We want a sequence. Okay. Now, right now it's like this. Okay, I'm going to hit the enter button. Boop. There you go. Bam, just written, 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 whatever. I wrote a code, uh, or I should say I told it what to do through a serial port. That's what I did. Um, William wrote the code. But now I can control this through my serial interface, and I can do a bunch more options on there right now than I can here. But again, this will be updated. Um, okay, so this is just for fun, learning, and uh, the end result is a test unit that you can do multiple things with. The electronics will be in the bottom of this box, okay? Um, you saw me all build the power supply over here, and it had those uh, controllers in them for the um, fork trucks, okay? Well, this is the inside of one of those controllers. I pulled all the glue off and took everything out of here and found out what was in here. It's a um, full bridge um, controlling device, basically, is what it is. Um, Okay, for a DC motor. Now check this out if I can get focused here. Uh, come on. There you go. You see that number? IRFP2907. That is a 209 amp MOSFET. Yes, 209 amp. That is the standard rate rating. That's not the peak. That's the continuous. Well, the continuous might be slightly lower, but that's the rating on the data sheet. Um, I believe there's 75 volts. Okay, so there's four of them here. Um, I got a couple more of these that are bad. They do not function on this side, but the, the MOSFETs are good. So I'll be extracting the MOSFETs. I will be placing them within this box on a giant heat sink, and I will have IOs all across the front here, um, and then these LEDs will drive opto-isolators, which will drive um, these MOSFETs or maybe transistors then the MOSFETs but um, you'll be able to put any power you want into this like 12 volt and it'll run through the MOSFETs or you can even put like 24 volt or well up to 75 volt you can run through this uh, unit and you can set up your pulse firing here adjust the duty cycle adjust the frequency um, and you're good to go so I have all those extra inputs uh, earlier I believe I started on this I didn't tell you what it was um, right now the uh, the serial port jumps into the input here, but what this actually is is I can run a external signal into this board to fire these at whatever rate I'd like, or you can have a feedback, so you can hook this up to a hall sensor to trigger it. Okay, so I mean this is like a really versatile box, and I really, really want to thank William for his time and effort. I know it's not done yet, William. I know we got more to do, and I know you got lots more time on this, but uh, right now as it is, is, is just extremely useful, so I can't wait to see the end result. Thank you. Okay, enough of that. That was like 10 minutes wasted of your time. I guess it wasn't wasted. But, uh, set this aside. Show you what else I've been doing. Boop. Uh, by the way, the, the stuff on the screen here uh, tells you different options. Right now it's just kind of a light display of what's going on, but uh, later it will give you exact everything you like. Alright, check it out. Ta da! There's only like 20 wires here that I gotta hook up. Um, that's it! Core! The core with the giant iron core is done. Um, it's finished. All I gotta do is slap it on there, hook it up to my pulser, and we, we're ready for testing. Um, it's gonna take me a little bit to get this box done. It won't take me very long. There's not much to do on that. I just have to do it. Um, the opto isolators I'll be getting are off of those other power supplies. I'm sorry, the U, uh, UPS battery backups that I got this wire out of the transformers. <laughs> so I'll be using the optos out of that to run this, to run this. I mean, everything's recycled here. Um, by the way, this piece of plexiglass is uh, used to have shoes on it. Set your shoe here. I got uh, some of those from uh, my employer. They were throwing them out. So heck yeah, I grabbed a bunch of them. So I'll have nice little plexiglass bass, uh, glass boxes to play with. Key switch just for fun. I'll hook it up later. Right now it's not. But anyway, I want to show you that core. 
that is really neat um, and then now it's time for um, that thing weighs a lot I bet that's a good eight pounds um, so the next would be wrapping them on these and wrapping a few more of these um, I like these a lot right here and I plan on making some plexiglass caps I tried these CDs they work pretty good but they're too flimsy for what I want so I'm gonna make some uh, plexiglass ones I believe and they just got smaller cores uh, a little bit better might try to find some uh, ferrite to play with um, so yeah that is the beginning of an awesome event to soon be arising here you can see what I've done with uh, Bill's cell mounted it on a nice um, plate and uh, I got it all hooked up I've got to put the clamps on the hoses um, I'm gonna put uh, these meters which uh, I got donated to me um, Philip I believe I pronounced that right I'm sure I did uh, battery Phil I believe donated these to me as well as this neat little oscilloscope unfortunately the knob broke off during shipping well, I was kind of a bu bummer but uh, I took it apart and looked at it just a 5k pot I'll just get a new one um, actually I've got one sitting up here somewhere but anyway cool little uh, oscilloscope that I can use and not be afraid to you know hit with a back spike on accident I was kinda um, I got this oscilloscope here a while back for Christmas and uh, I was kind of afraid to use it on any high voltage at all so now I'll be able to use this one as a primary test just in case I have something go terribly wrong um, I don't plan on destroying it but uh, if something happens it's not the end of the world but it will be kind of sad um, but I plan on taking good care of it I turned it on it works but the uh, the knob here is for uh, adjustments for the position so I couldn't really see the line it was way over here um, so thanks for those donations um, a few other people have donated um, money I'm not gonna mount uh, I'm not gonna name them right now I plan on sending out a thank you uh, every month I kind of failed this month but I'm working on it I'm trying to gather up enough stuff and just how I'm gonna do that I think I'm gonna make a video uh, and just post it that way it's easier for me to talk to you than it is to type anyway waste of time here all right, I got my uh, sodium hydroxide here from AA Chemicals. Got it in. Um, this is a brute force cell, but it is designed for creating hydrogen and oxygen separate. So we are not too concerned about the um, the amp draw at the moment. This is purely to test. Um, I do plan on pr putting pure hydrogen in here and running high voltage across the outside leads where the connectors are here and either this is going to light up and glow real nice uh, or it's going to explode or it's going to melt um, hopefully it will be a, a cold plasma and it will just glow so that is my next attempt at a video once I get this done I'm almost done um, Bill I added a couple different fittings here I'll uh, put your original ones on when I send it back but I put some quick fittings here and uh, quick fittings here with uh, this is my fill be able to uh, basically open this valve fill it up and then close the valve instead of putting a cap on and off like you had a little bit easier for me save some time uh, I mounted this a little bit different the flow tube in the back between the centers I will be adding on there yet I didn't have a one long enough I got one I just didn't get to put it on yet now but uh, back up here and see this whole thing. There you go, Bill. Mounted on this nice board. Woohoo! So you got hydrogen and oxygen, separate containers. That is the coolest thing ever. It's a blessing, buddy. All right. Um, shop is a mess. Um, life is uh, crazy, but things are getting done very slowly. This is Russ, RW Research, a little update on EPG, Arduino, a split gas cell, and a thank you. So, thank you. Oh, by the way, my hair is getting long enough to act like a mad scientist again, although I was always a mad scientist in here. Uh, but I'm going to have to get this cut. All right, this is Russ, RWGResearch.com. Please go share, give, and love. All right, later.